I maybe kind of, sort of, might be stuck inside one of the lockers at school. And I need help. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry, I fell off my bed laughing. Come on, I'm serious, I'm actually freaking out in here. What the hell are you doing at school at 1 a.m.? I wanted to play that prank on Dana. You know that idiot Dana? We don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to write idiot on her locker. The janitor came, so I locked myself in mine. You didn't think to go to the bathroom? <laughs> this is why you should have played the prank and not me. Shut up and get me out of here, Jen. Sucks a suck, but fine, on my way. <laughs> You're so mean to me. You know this place is creepy at night. No, I don't. I don't go to school when I am. <laughs> How so? How would I know? Just like noises and stuff, like, you know, do you ever walk down that one west wing, like when it's nighttime, like after a drama play or something, and it's like, Whoa. I was walking down the hall and heard these footsteps beside me, and then I turned, and there was nothing. Oh, that place is totally haunted. Sorry to say that while you're there at 1am. Oh, Chen, don't say that. Like, saying it makes the ghosts come, okay? Seriously, a teacher murdered one of his students there in the 70s. You didn't know. Oh, uh, what? How do you know? Everybody knows, duh. Well, everybody knows except me, and now I'm stuck here in a locker. This guy, Mr. Samson, asked one of the students to stay after school, and then he Ooh, can we please talk about anything else? Sorry, <laughs> lol. Are you pranking me? Because this isn't funny. Just come and get me out of here. Oh, crap. What? I'm hearing footsteps again, Jen. Probably the janitor again. Stop freaking out. You're so dramatic. Uh, but no, 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 no. You don't get it. How do you know? Not shoving the broom along. It's just steps. He can't be the janitor because he doesn't have a broom? Okay. Well, whoever it is, luckily you're safe inside a locker. <laughs> LOL. What if he can hear me breathing? I'm serious. They're coming closer. Chill out. It's probably no one. Why are you so chill? They s Jen, they stopped right in front of my locker. Probably because you're making noise. Be quiet. <laughs> Ask them to get you out. No. Something feels off. You're just paranoid. Oh. Oh. They banged on my locker, Jen. Did you make any noise? I covered my mouth. I went boop. But you're texting. Why didn't you cover your mouth? Oh. <laughs> Maybe they are scared and know someone is in there and that's freaking them out. You know, maybe they're just as scared of you as you're scared of them. Jen, I can hear them breathing. It's a guy. How do you know? I just do. You know how guys breathe? <laughs> you know? <laughs> he banged again! Jen! Can you see anything through the grate? Oh yeah, sure. I'm just gonna look through this grate at this scary man. Oh? No, I... I can't see anything. You should just say something. I'm scared though. Worst advice ever. Do you think I should call the cops? No, I think you should say something. What do you mean I should- Hey, Jen, I'm not saying anything. Fine, I'll call the cops, but you're probably going to get in trouble. Shouldn't be at school. Listen, at this point, I don't care. How far are you? 10 minutes. I had to sneak out, obviously. It's past my bedtime, past my curfew. I knew I shouldn't have come here, my heart. It's pounding. They'll probably just go away. Stay still and calm. Jen, you are not helping me right now. All the lockers are closed. He comes, bangs on the one that I happen to be in, and you want me to talk to him, and now you're assuming he'll just go away. All I know is that you're very dramatic. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jen, he just started pushing something in through the grate. What? What was it? I don't know. It's too dark in here. It's 1 a.m. Cockroaches! Oh! It's like a lot of cockroaches. Give me out! I just asked him to let me out and he started laughing. Cops are on their way. Who carries cockroaches in their pockets? Do you think this is someone trying to get revenge? So strange. What if it's Dana? It's totally Dana. I mean, you've pissed off a lot of people with the things you've done. Oh, great. Thank you for the support. I screamed them to leave me alone and they started laughing again. It sounds like they're tearing something. Oh my God, the person is starting to duct tape the cracks. <gasps> I'm not gonna be able to breathe, Jen. Are the cops coming? They said they're on their way. Just try to be calm. Where are you, girl? I can't be calm. He's duct taping the grate. I'll be stuck in here with the cockroaches. That's not why he's duct taping the grate. What? 
How do you know? My little sister Amy finally owned up to who gave her a black eye she had last week. Said that you took her to the woods and smacked her around. What are you talking about? I told you never to lay a hand on my sister. My little sister. I didn't touch your sister. Don't you lie to me. I ain't lying to you. All you do is bully people and now it's your turn. <laughs> What is that hose you're putting against the grate? Not me. It's a fireman friend of mine from the other district. It's water! Perceptive of you. <laughs> you're evil! And yeah, he's got the hookup. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, come on, Jen. You know my fear of water. You're damn right I do. Please stop, Jen. I'll do anything. It's filling up fast in here, Jen. I told you, keep your filthy hands off my little sister. Get me out of here, please. See you in the morning if you make it. <laughs> Jen! No, Jen! Jen! Whoa, that's just how it ends? That's so dark. That is the darkest dark I've ever darked. Same. Yikers. Oof. Azzy, that was really scary. Well, that was so scary, Cass. Horrifying. But I'm kind of in the mood to read another one on your channel. Oh, me too. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Come and meet us over at Azzy's for some more, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.